Good evening and welcome. I hope I should be fully charged now so I can leave that off. So, how are you guys doing? Getting a good start of a new month? I think it's fine. I think it's fine. I just... Ah, such a rush. Mondays and Wednesdays are going to be super hectic from now on because my daughter is at ballet practice and I can barely make it home in time. But I made it. So we're good. I had I had the choice when I came home to either brush the teeth of the kids or give them an ice cream. So now they're eating ice cream and then I guess they'll have to brush their teeth out themselves afterwards. Yep. I have responses from missed streams when I watch the VODs but forget I can't type in jet chat. Well you Oh yeah, you used to be able to type in VOD chat, which was like a stupid idea by the way. <laughs> hey Nikon, thank you for the four months. Appreciate it. I think we'll crank out the volume a bit. <laughs> I have responses. Yeah. Well, you could just show up for the stream then. Well, there we go. But, I mean, I'm sure it was actually weird. Like, yesterday there were, like, very few regulars in um, in the stream. It was very weird, to be honest. Um, I guess everyone was busy. So, licensure program. We're almost at the end, unfortunately. But also, it's it's kind of the same thing I feel with um, with Satisfactory when I end a new a long campaign of Satisfactory. It is like this, like, but I've gotten so far. Now the base is working. Now it's up and running. Why leave now when things are finally done? But that's it. It's because things are finally done, and it's the it's the journey. It's not the goal that drives our drives us there. Uh, the ironic, actually, as it is, like, imagine sort of a, a base building game where we build it, build the base, and then we just spend most of the time just looking at it, hanging out in the base, just checking, watching things flow. I know that a lot of people do that, and they just make minor improvements and then make a new design for something, or I think that's also how Satisfactory is supposed to be played. I don't know. I just get kind of bored when when we end up just mainly just tinkering away doing minor optimization like doing a, a whole overhaul for two percent overall efficiency doesn't really compel me so much no it's the big things sort of letting uh, letting things flow that's what we want that's the fun part so we still have um Min -max and other things, yeah, but it's also something I noticed when uh, first sort of my corporate life was that, you know, I loved like implementing Agile. I don't like tweaking it. Like once we're here, just, oh, this could be a tiny bit better. And if we these things, then these synergies, ah, that's boring. No, the big thing is get, is transforming from one way of working to another way of working. That's cool. Or implementing a new system, but maintaining it, yeah, kind of boring. Yeah, you have... Always have to leave as soon as it's working for once. Yeah, well, I, I mean, that is what I do. That's the interesting thing is making it work. It's not seeing it work. That's something for someone else. Uh, it, it's just a mentality thing. And it's. I don't think it's a coincidence that I have exactly the same mentality when playing games that I do when uh, in my corporate life. It's about implementing big changes, not keeping them going and gradually um, improving them sort of on a day-to-day -day basis. That doesn't have the same appeal to me. So, that's why we do this. And now the music ended. So let's dive into the game. Boop. Agile's way of organizing what I'm working on for the next two weeks. I don't like Agile's way of displaying progress. Burned out chart. Yeah, there's a lot of ups and downs there. Boop. And there's a lot of poops here. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, let me see if I have all of this up and running and the events as well. Should there be any of those? There we go. All right, good. Whoops. Uh, is not responding. I don't know how that displayed for you. Cool. Where are we again? Oh, we're like really far away. Hello, Arthur Dent. Um, yeah, so... Oh, right, I know what we were missing. We built this here, and we do not have a sphere yet. Ooh, look at that. Oh, that's drone speed. We have faster drones then. Hmm. 
Yeah, so my two objectives today is, uh, no, I'll have three objectives. The first one is fixing bottlenecks in case our science drops below the 3600. And if, when, this, when everything is running, then my second objective is to make a Dyson Sphere on this system and also maybe on the other system that we haven't touched at all yet. Uh, and the third priority is starting a modular design for purple science. That's kind of the plan for today. And we don't know if we'll ever get to more than priority one. Yeah, exactly. Black hole neutron star. This is on the neutron star. Maybe. There. Neutron star. Sergeant Dubious. Boop. Hello, Chris. And good evening, Kakayan. And, okay, so the thing we want is we're going to start. Uh, let's definitely do that. Hold on. We want to check that these do not have anything yet. Nope. They have not gotten anything because I have deliberately filter this so that it doesn't export and I'm not going to be standing here while doing design work because then we will hear the uh, no pregame chat no you were, you were just super effective today efficient I I got here too late to sort of warm up so I felt like totally rushed and therefore funnily enough if I'm here 15 minutes before then I also go 15 minutes over before I start gaming but since I was just here like three minutes before, I was like, all right, I'm late already. Okay, let's get started. And which is kind of silly because from your perspective, it's always the, it's, it's, you couldn't tell the difference whether it was 15 minutes early or not. Um, yeah, Dyson Sphere. Well, 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 I have an idea that I want three layers. It's just going to be a small one. Very small. Forty. And the idea is that I will leave the middle four here empty and then only basically make a cap up here and down there and then basically do the same thing for that one. Basically, make it caps like this, like this, and like that. That's the intention. I think I should make all the new layers as well. So this one was 39. And that will be 90. And that will be 0. No, that will be 90 as well. There. That's going to be the next one. And the last one will be 41. And then there will be 90. And then 180. Yeah, it matches the, the string. Cool. All right. So this one, I don't think there's a problem with leaving it running. It is going to be really simple. Uh, so. Could you do something about this that makes it slightly less simple and slightly more interesting? Hmm. Good evening, Conrad. What if we merge it that way? result in the same yeah this pattern will still be visible what oh it doesn't work like that okay undo undo undo
I know this is going to be slightly dissimilar to the same cabbage one. But not quite. Because this one turns out to be three times more awful to make at least. Nope. Undo. Tiny star is tiny. It's a neutron star. They are not big. Could also do that one. Dragon scales. Huh. Let's do that instead. Cool. Let's uh, let's actually only do one and then do dragon scales instead. Cool. That's much more fun. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a good idea. All right. Only one, but then we'll do dragon scales instead. Sweet. So now I unfortunately have to delete everything manually here. Uh, this is actually the one that I keep, right? Smaller, medium, bigger. Yeah, so this one, delete, this one, delete. This is this one we can actually keep. Okay, so actually don't need to remove all of this. Okay, let's try this. Sounds better if we call it dragon scales and fish scales, but at the end of the day, it's going to be something like this. So one thing I'm wondering about is people say if you make a sphere purely out of structure points, the save file doesn't get crazy huge and the game runs efficiently. Hmm. Wow. But you can't... They can't be super close. They still have to be sort of minimum spacing between them. Oh, the problem with this one is... What are we going to do in terms of... Uh, yeah. Like, what is going to be painted? What's not going to be painted? I think everything gets painted here. I'm pretty sure that this oops um, is still a thing. Yeah, we're definitely gonna do this. And then I'll just figure out the rest afterwards. So have you guys heard that Twitch has lost two of its uh, biggest uh, streamers in the last two days? Dr. Lupo and Tim the Tatman. That's interesting. Both are going to YouTube. I would not surprise me if there are more to come. The interesting thing is, I think this might be a good thing. Because it's more competition, which is good. Hopefully, Twitch execs will go like, yeah, that's all right. I mean, we can lose one. It happens. And then two at the same time, and maybe they know there are more. Then they might go like, uh, hold on. This is not good. We keep, we lose the profitable ones and keep the unprofitable ones. Oh, crap. Maybe we should do something then. I think I'll leave it open up here. Have you looked into the big the big pro con of moving to YouTube? Yes. The big pro of moving to YouTube is it 
it's a better platform. You sort of consolidate one everything in one thing, but that's also like the the most dominant negative thing is the fact that if you lose your Gmail account or your uh, YouTube account, then poof, you have no presence online at all, and that's absolutely the biggest uh, detriment. Get some random. random uh, strikes or something and then you just you're done that's it and the only way to sort of guard against that is to be so big that you have a personal if you sign a contract with YouTube as they do then of course you're not just going to disappear from one day to the next um, but it's uh, if you're just sort of like hmm, what stream should I stream on uh, you, Twitch has way better monetization than YouTube has, so that's the there's yeah. that's a big part of it, and the other part of it is really the fact that it's just too risky to gamble everything on one gang company that doesn't care about you. So better to gamble 50-50 on two companies because if if my YouTube channel wasn't there, then I would hope that you would come to my next stream and figure out what the hell's going on and uh, if my twitch wasn't there then you could watch a YouTube to figure out why I lost my twitch channel or something to that effect I like this pattern it's it's quite simplistic But Twinsix have the capacity of extracting heads out of their own bots. No, but maybe someone will, uh, higher up will just uh, change. Right? The only way to... <laughs> this is the brilliant part. Okay, so how do you do change management? Like organizational change management. Almost all the time, the best way is to change management. Just change the management. They're the ones who are perpetuating the bad culture, so uh, get rid of them. And then get someone new in who are more aligned with the values that uh, the company wants to to go for. So, <clears throat> good thing I'm not doing three of these. Yeah. Um, a Fabergé egg. Yes, that's good. It's a good point. Also automatic. Yeah, sure. Better bid rate? No. Yeah. yeah. So it it's it's good that uh, content creators who have argue, have negotiation power are actually using that negotiation power to get better deals. Because it, um, it's there's a trickle down effect, right? And that means that they might be like, hmm, right? So, what could they do? Like, okay, well, so far Twitch has been in their their way of running a business has been like they will just only deal with like the top hundred creators. Anything else, just don't give a shit about them. And honestly. It, it's probably not a bad uh, business decision to do that because they are the ones who take up 95% of the viewer base on Twitch. Maybe only 90, but it's it's quite top heavy. So you could sort of go, well, if they have limited resources in terms of account management, then focus on the top 100 and then let the rest sort of sink afloat. And the ones who make it into top 100 will go, uh, hey, by the way, I noticed you on our platform. But maybe there would be an argument that, uh, oops, undo, that it would be more beneficial to get, get treat current channel better so that they don't leave. Now, I'm not expecting ever to be in a 
big streamer category or anything like that. But still, you know, it 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 really means a lot. The reason why I moved to Twitch was a very large extent was there was a real person, a real account manager who reached out to me and sat down virtually and talked to me. And I was like, this feels good. This feels good. I feel valued. And I knew exactly what Twitch was offering. It was nothing. I didn't get anything special, but that feeling of, of just being being recruited, it's it's amazing, right? It 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 feels great. And now several years later when I contact my account manager, the reply is I'm not actually your account manager. We don't have account managers for small streamers anymore. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> Even though this channel has experienced quite a significant growth since the start. Then it's just like, yeah, but we decided you're not interesting anymore. Even than you were when when you were just starting out. It doesn't feel great. A new subscriber arrives. Oh, thank you. Log Frack, thank you for gifting five subs. And that was a paying forward from the one from S'mores. Thank you so much. Well done, S'mores. Recruiting here. Conscripting. No one ever uses the conscription uh, badge. I like that. It's one of the nice, nicer new badges. Is the starting planning the only one with water? No, we have a few other ones with water, I think. But I, I just paved over it. This one actually has water as well. But I only need water for titanium glass. That's the only thing. So not really needed for anything <sighs> it reminds me when google youtube started implementing real names and replies people got the whole account banned ah uh, yeah 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 that's lovely I think that's it. Uh, except for the circle down here. It's going to be a hollow world. Or you can fly in at the top and the bottom. Yeah. I think just companies underestimate how valuable personal contact is. Uh, like you you feel so it, it feels good to be greeted personal and it, it's yeah it feels good you like it and you will probably just be more uh, inclined to buy whatever is being sold if you have that personal engagement that looks more like a harlequin than anything else but that doesn't matter it's going to be interesting. It would be nice if it would sort of evaluate like some stats here about how many solar sales this is, how many uh, rockets it would be, how much the maximum uh, output would be from this. Those are definitely known things that could easily be calculated. So that if you go like, I want a one terawatt, then you know what it what it's going to take <laughs> more than this. This is where someone goes like, you're missing one. I like it. This is a nice design. Cool. It's the guy that got me into Dyson. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for you. I don't think it's my fault that uh, you're, uh, I mean, 
is it the drug dealer's fault that I mean not even the drug dealer is it just the the, the corner pushers fault that you are an addict no I'm not this was when I did wanted to do something else but now I want to do this one Ah, we got into the continuous launch pattern. That I like the continuous launch pattern better than I like the all at once. How many nodes in total? Let's have a look. Uh, what are we guessing? 100,000 or something? 113,000. Well, that's something. <laughs> right, well... That is uh, mission number two completed. Three sixty, three sixty. Although that is not looking good. So, onwards and upwards. Only the middle row of guns are firing. Yes, that depends on the orbits, and that's why I have three because there are three different orbits, and depending on summer, winter locations, of all that stuff, then it's going to be different. Um, planets. Okay, that one. Go there. And then was... Green one. Green, 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 green science. That is wild. Correlated wild. Boop. All right, let's go. Something very cool. Was that an add-on? They just pulled up showing all the production. Nope, that is default behavior. This is just the production stats. It gets really cool with this one. This is insane. Ooh. I have no idea what these are, but it looks so cool. Yeah, it's a lot of ship flying. Uh, P. P as in s performance statistics. P. This is the CPU, the GPU, and... Oh, I don't want to... Don't click that one. That's going to do a saving test to figure out how big it is. It is so good. And if this one goes above 16, then we're screwed. Then I can't keep up with uh, updates. And it's getting there. So, it's basically like... There should be one that's idle. Why is there nothing idle? Main logic, user interface. Huh, weird. They don't include idle. Uh, I think they should, but okay, depends. Because they're not, maybe that's because they're not hard fixed to 60 frames per second. Hey, good day, first time catching signs. I'm a Dyson addict myself. Good to see you. Welcome. Uh, did I? No, I did not pass my... Oh, no, I did. Now I did again. It happens. Sorry. Whew. I managed to mute at least. How's this one? Uh, it's definitely not ready yet. <laughs> but it's getting there. This CPU goes over 60.6 frames. Yeah. And hello, Larry Mensa, who uh, weren't here yesterday for the Factorio series, but you got your uh, two. Uh, your two hype trains in the world. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, the hard work creating concepts. I can imagine jobs that are harder than this. 
So, uh, thank you. But I don't feel that, uh... It's a lot of work, but it's not hard work. I don't think... Well, I've had one job that... Okay, hard is also, like, a difficult term, right? Does hard mean difficult or strenuous? Because usually when people say it's a hard job, then I feel like it's strenuous. It's exhausting. It's, uh... Debilitating. It's just... It, yeah, not as in hard as in difficult. Difficult? I don't know. Maybe? That's definitely something not working. Quantum... Woo. Okay, plane filters are, are up. Plane filters are up. Well, why are you up? Weird why this is... Casimir crystals are not great. Casimir crystals? What? I am out of Casimir crystals. That is odd, to say the least. Here, why? There we go. I think that's it. I think this is honestly it. Hmm. I do think that the easiest solution to this is simply getting more things inbound for this. And more things inbound is pretty simple to do. Oh. Let's go over to the events. Hello, index out of range. Thank you for the 16.66 dollar donation. So that is uh, one for every up uh, uh, millisecond of uh, update time. I like lots of steps and take some time. I know if you record the content right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but you still have. <clears throat> That's pretty intense. <laughs> Yeah. Also that one. Nothing else, I guess. Oh, yes. Yeah. And obviously also. Should be good. Logistics engine three. Right, but we do have like this is uh this is just the tip of the iceberg because this is gonna be the bigger issue. What is the alternative? Ah oh. maybe it's actually worth making the titanium crystals now because I don't think we have issues with neither titanium nor uh, organic crystals let's just check what the titanium supplies are like we can see that quite easily here they look good solid solid these are the only three okay so Maybe this one should actually not be this. But it should be that one. But locally requested. Oh yeah. I still need to change the recipe. This is not enough. Nope, that 
one can go. Whoop. Damn it. Oh, hydrogen. Hello. Uh, actually, we could just put it in here. Poof. Where the hell's the rest? If I'm missing 13, where is it? There you go. I do appreciate the poor games. Uh, it's going to hit the problem. I did not enough optical grading crystals. I just did. <laughs> I typed too slow. <laughs> You're right on. Uh, I'm just going to kill all the stuff that fell out. It's just hydrogen. We literally have planets full of that. Goodbye, 206 of those. That's good. <clears throat> now, let's see. Do we have any extra space? Well, we have this one. So let's see if we can squeeze it in here. That's all the space we have left on this planet. I'm honestly starting to get worried about next week because I still haven't found I found a lot of games that I'm still sort of like yeah maybe but I haven't found like aha that's the one and I've spent significant amount of time today just researching Uh, yeah, my target is 12 rockets per second and 60 white science per second. That's what I have right now in the base, my base. Yeah. <clears throat> so, this will be making that one. Uh, hold on, let's figure out how many we need. This is on a... Hold on. Isn't this irrelevant what it actually is? Okay, it's four. So this is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ten per second. This is ten per second. So each one... Ten. Okay, so I need ten plus ten plus ten. So thirty in total. Okay. Let's see how it works. Can I just play more Factorio? Nope, I could not. I literally could not play more Factorio. If I played more Factorio, I would stop playing Factorio. It's that simple. It's um, it's not fun for me if that's the only thing I do. Uh, this one trick pony likes trying to do more than one trick. Four seconds of... It's more likely that I'll cut down on Factory than it is I'm going to scale up. But it also depends on, you know, like other games, obviously, available. Let's see.
What if we do this one? And then... That's middle. This is on the other side. And then we get the return. That's not good. No, it's not good. This could be the return then. It's still not good. What the hell? What I want to avoid is having two on the outside. What if we just do like this is this one's just return. So each one here is consuming three every four seconds, but it's consuming it at one and a half rate. So it's consuming four and a half per four seconds. That's the worst ratio. <laughs> I'm currently playing a bunch of silly mobile games uh, because everything is coming soon. I completely agree. That's exactly how I feel. Maybe I should take that sponsorship from uh, from Raid Shadow Legends. Just cash in while we are idling. But it does feel like, oh, that's good. Oh, yeah, that's uh, that's 2022. Hmm. Okay. Well, that one then. Nope. That's 2022. And then returns on the outside. Okay, so this is almost, this is a bit less than one per second. And, oh, hold on. This one will be making one and a half per second. So if I make these seven deep, one, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Why is seven a good number? Because it, uh, it's not a good number, by the way. The only reason why it's a good number is because it matches exactly the previous build. I don't think that's enough of a reason for me right now. That's probably better. Eight is something that's much more doable. Okay, let's build it. I want to play KSP too bad. So bad. Hmm, Kerbal Space Program? Not really looking particularly forward to it. I mean, I'm, I guess I'm gonna play it when it comes out just for because it's kind of something. But it's not something I'm looking forward to. I, if it, if ever, right? It, it, if it ever comes out. I mean, of course it is, but I haven't heard anything from it lately. I think Darkest Dungeon might be a possibility. It sounds like a good game and could be a good prepare for Darkest Dungeon 2. That might be a thing. Also because it's a very... It's a game that has a lot of 
of good engagement. Like, we can talk and have fun and there are cool stories. Like, Oxygen not included. You build your own stories in those games. Also, since... How did I fail to count to eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's on you. No one said you are already at eight. You have nine now. There you go. See if I know that. You you said it. Okay, I'll I'll give you that. <clears throat> Surviving Mars, I don't... I, I looked at it and it just... <sighs> set the same give, game in Egypt and I couldn't tell the difference. <laughs> hey, George. I, it's... Yeah, Crusader Kings and Rimworld. <sighs> yeah, there's also Fortnite and uh, Clash of Clans and... Uh, the Raid Shadow Legends. Automation Empire, I played it and I I thought I was like, oh, it's a cute little game, but the, there's there's something wrong with it. This and I found out the tax mechanic and I got so angry at that game. I got so unbelievably angry. <laughs> it's just ridiculous how angry I got at the stupidity of what they were doing. So, I don't think I've forgiven them. It's the same with Phoenix Point. I was also looking at Phoenix Point, going back to that and going, yeah, maybe we could play a bit of Phoenix Point, you know. It could be interesting. And then I, I just felt the emotions swelling inside me. I went like, no, 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 don't go there. Don't go there. It's, it's some of those things and it's it's particularly with games that I'm looking forward to like for example Cyberpunk right oh I got so angry with that game god damn it it was just how can you spend 11 years and then just make such a steaming pile of crap or eight or nine or whoever how many years it was it was just This is working. The reason why there's not much here is because all of it is on this one. Yeah. <laughs> Surviving Mars has a lot of difficulty settings. That's not... That's not a good way to lure me in. Like, you can turn all these knobs. We don't know what they do, but you can turn them and that's fun. Yeah. Okay, so this one goes up. <laughs> Cyber was fun for a while, but got boring pretty fast. Yeah, after the tutorial, is that what you mean? Set those two. Nah. Okay, let's uh, see that we have this working and that it works and everyone's happy. Because if it really needs to, then I can just double this and then convert this one as well if we don't feel that yeah we don't feel it I don't feel it I'm not feeling this anymore uh, let's fix this one first There you go. I 
I would love to have a game that that was more of a like a tournament game or that kind of thing where it would just be like yeah let's take a few rounds of this game and it could be something where we could just chat at the same time like if I could play chess that would be fun <laughs> but I can't so it's not gonna be fun I imagine this might not actually be working because of the the output from the towers have not been changed after I changed the recipe. Let's see. So when this one is changed too. Whoop. Uh, this one is changed to here. Then it is not filtered here. Or here. Your steadfast loyalty is Steadfast loyalty, Noodle Monster, thank you for the four months. Good to see you. Thank you for the ex extension of the support. Alright, let's get that done for all of them. Also the ones that we have already done. Oops. <laughs> and another one bites the dust. Yeah. Do you like city builders? No, not particularly. And and then we can also go like, what do you mean by city builders? Humankind looks so bland, if that's a city builder. Like SimCity, does that even still exist? It, I, I find that to be like, ah, uh, no, no. Like, oh, they need irrigation. Uh, oh, they need power. Uh, oh, residential district. Uh, it just, I mean, I'm just not compelled by it. Like, there's nothing. It doesn't feel engaging to me, the gameplay for those. To be honest, I mean, this this is the part. Like, it's the part. Right. Like, this is what always happens. Always, always, always happens. This is why it's such a bad idea for me to ask this question. So I, I should stop doing it. I am not interested in the kind of games that are in the same category as. I mean, yeah, I'm interested in factory builders. Not city builders, not forex, not all that other crap, but factory builders, yes, but there are only three of those, realistically speaking. Right? Factorio, the genre defining, and then satisfactory and license fair program. That's it. I am not interested in forex, I'm not interested in generic RTSs, generic all of those things that are sort of the same maybe have the same appeal. It's my interest is these specific factory games where it's a matter of logistics, like something like Anno 1800. It's nothing of the same. Um, it, it's You just don't have the same mindset as you do when playing a factory builder. Factory builder is all about sort of production and balancing and inputs and outputs. But those games are just like, oh, build more. Just build more of that, okay, build more of that, okay, build more of that, okay, build more of that. And it's just super uninteresting for me. So it's either factory builders or it's action RPGs. Not action RPGs, not Diablos, but Souls-like. With rich stories and that kind of immersive worlds. And obviously they go like, uh, that's... And then people only recommend games that are... In the category of oh have you tried RimWorld? Yeah, if I wanted to play RimWorld, I would have tried it already. Of course, I I know about RimWorld, but if, I'm, if I've chosen not to play it, I'm not it's because I'm not interested in. It. But no one goes like, hey, there's this Tales of Arise 
that could be something. I go like, oh, that's interesting. It's not because it's a JRPG, but you know, it could still be something that would be reasonable to suggest because it could very well be something I would like. Hey, Patrick. Oh, was it Stationeers that I absolutely hated? <laughs> oh yeah, I remember Stationeers. Fucking awful. That was... Oh my god, that... Oh, that was such... That was the... Oh, one of the worst game experiences. Like, who in their right mind does something like that? See again? Did I not say I'm not interested in city builders and base builders and yet it's the only thing that gets suggested? Suggested. If someone comes like in like, Death Door, that sounds interesting. Like, ah, oh, that might be something. Or Mortal Shell, that's interesting, right? Or Turnpire's Tactics like Midnight Suns, gonna be interesting to play that when it comes out. That we're definitely going to be playing. Right? Midnight Suns? Doom Eternal? Yep. Played it. Completed it on... Ultraviolence. So. I don't thought Subnautica was the worst. No, not really. Not actually. I've, I've been thinking about like some of these games and I think one of the reasons when I get really angry with the game it's because there is a there's a disconnect between what the game tells you it's about and what it is actually about so when a game tells you about it's exploring this vast world and uncovering the secrets that's what the game tells you it's about but what a game is actually about is just ah must get food must get oxygen ah, ah oh and and then you know there that disconnect between what what it it what it lures me in with and what it actually is that's when i get like you're not doing it right and maybe you can't articulate it right but um those are it it is it is that disconnect that really grinds my gear grinds my gears it it really is does that make sense? Like, um, like Dyson Sphere program, it it tells you it's about building a galactic factory, basically. And what are you doing? You're building small parts of the factories, and you are going to explore, and you're building more new factories. And it all things comes back to a galactic factory. Awesome. There is alignment between the story that it tells, what it presents to you, and the stuff you do on a minute to minute, on a hour to hour basis is connected to the overarching idea of the game then it makes sense factorio has a very clear connection between what the game is about building a factory on a a hostile world and that's what you do you're always like on a on a minute to minute you're like okay tweaking belts and managing supply and an hour to hour you're planning more resources scaling up new technologies it makes sense it's connected Right, and then examples of, of games that don't have this disconnect. That this disconnect, like for example, in um, Phoenix Point, right? It tells the story that you have these, like, not this is not a setting. This is them on a mechanics level. On a mechanics level, it tells you that you have these varied classes, and they can be combined, and you can make incredible amounts of variety on weapons types, on merging classes, and you can. Build your own, build your own army, and they will be performing. Except that's not how the game works. The game is you must do this and this and this. Then you will completely break the game, and only then can you succeed. But what about the rich variety? Yeah, that's irrelevant. You have to do this. If you don't do this, you're dead. And those are things like build a unit that can move all over the map in one turn because of broken mechanics and bad uh, 
you know, and you know, so the story that it tells and the actual gameplay they differ so much that it it just really disconnects me. I've not played FTL. I I can't do that kind of graphics. Strong draft. I have no idea about draft. I don't know what draft is. So uh, let me just get done with that one. Yeah. The thing is, I want something that I can also enjoy looking at, and uh, it's it's like dating, right? You we all we can say that it's all about the personality, but it's really nice to have something nice to look at. <laughs> I just hope she likes personality because otherwise I'm screwed. Anyway, on that note, I think I'll take a break. So I'll be back in two minutes. All right, welcome back. Ah, so what I also would like is a good puzzle game, like The Witness, Portal, Relicta, uh, Light Matter. Um, we play some good ones, right? Some really good ones. Really enjoy a good puzzle game. I'm actually, one of the games that is very high on my list of things to sort of try next week is 12 Minutes. It, um, it's, it's, I have no idea. I've deliberately not spoiled myself for that one, but uh, it's it's uh, it looks interesting. Okay, let's have a look if they see if things are working better now. Well, they're all being consumed at least, or being requested over here. That's working full speed, full speed, full speed, full speed, full speed, no full speed, huh? And probably no full speed. Okay, so in a while this will gradually fill up right here. These are now filled up and then this one will gradually and this one will gradually fill up. Yeah, they're just getting the remaining stuff in. Cool, cool. And these are now consuming the last bits of that and they should be working better. Cool. Let's go over here. This is the titanium glass, and these are still not working. Okay, but it, it's one of them that isn't working. Why is it not working? It's just random, right? It's just, this just happens to be the slowest one, so. Okay, so as long as this is not full, then I guess this one is not getting anything. Almost full. Hmm. Well, remember, don't no spoilers, please. Shapes IO DLC, it's the possible that. Yeah, I, I thought it was a, it's a cute idea. I'm not sure it's something for me, but it's a cute idea. 
I think, I mean, maybe more than a cute idea. I think it's a really good idea. And it fits very well with the idea of it. And I also think that the guy who made it is using a really brilliant way of doing it where he has basically released the source code so people can or can just build stuff and then he can integrate it into a game. I think it's a really brilliant way to do as a one-man company. Really, really brilliant, actually. Also, uh, seems to be a really nice guy. Came out and hang, hung out in our stream when we were first playing it. Yeah, so this one, still the plane filters are not keeping up. They should be. This is just the... Okay, so... Now, everything is working as it should be, right? This is gradually... Every one of them have resources, so they're now producing at the rate that they should be producing at, which is then also the rate that these can consume at. This one's full, this one's full, and only then will the remaining start going in here. There you go, just one going in. Yeah, go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Yeah. <laughs> Thoughts on Stardew Valley? Uh, no, I'm, I'm not a 12-year-old girl, so no, that's not a game for me. Sorry, I, I might have some some strong opinions on some of these things. <laughs> it just, yeah, okay, no, no, I'm not. No, okay, I was actually thinking about Animal Crossing. Stardew Valley is not as bad, but it's still like, what are you doing? You're just looking at pixel graphics and fishing and farming. Yeah. Yeah, you can do colors now. Have you heard of Gloomhaven? Uh, no, not really. Uh, anyway, um, I think this one is, it's working okay-ish. It's actually not though. This is the problem. This is good, this is good, and this one will then start receiving more. Please, receive more. Boom, done. <laughs> ah, it's just, it's so pinched, this part. <laughs> okay, so um, let's have a look going over to the other location. To Tikivara, he is here. And go to Fry Guy to see how things are faring over at the production site. How, how problematic it is. I'm going to PC game now. Oh, interesting. Hmm. I don't know how things mesh in that regard. From a tabletop RPG to... I mean, Darkest Dungeon has very much a tabletop RPG feel to it. Or no, no, not tabletop. The tabletop, the board game. And then there are games that like look really interesting. Um, okay, so I found I found a few games that are, okay, like this Alien Fire Team. Oh, that looks so cool. Ah, oh, four four player co-op. Oh, and then there was a, an Amazon game that comes out December, but there is an early access now. It's not New World. It is. It looks like a Souls like, and I was like, <gasps> and then I just looked at a video of it, and it was like, oh, it's an MMO. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> oh, welcome. It's Factorio in space. There we go. 
it's the concept is the is to build Dyson spheres. That's what we have oops, here around our local sun and uh, harvest the power to build a bigger factory to feed the uh, the AI, the all powerful AI center brain. And then that's kind of the tiniest of tiny intros. I see green. I see trees. Tears of green. There we go. I don't see green here. Yeah, so we are definitely not great. Not great here. Nothing is. Nothing is. It's not good. It's not good. Okay, so it's one and a half stack that's missing. Ah. Uh. Yeah, it's not nice rainbows. Unfortunately, this means uh, that we are no longer at the rate that we should be at. And that comes back to the stupid green signs. Mm. It is just, unlike in Factorio, you have to overbuild in this game. You really have to overbuild. Because things that are working at... I think lockstep is... Uh, it, you can't do drumbeat supply chains. You can't do uh, have them in in, in, a, in a lockstep chain. It doesn't work because there will be the um, the batch sizing will be the problem, which is like supply chain management 101. It is literally from the goal where they have, which is like the one book on supply chain management I would recommend. Uh, it where they have the problem they fi fix the bottlenecks, but they still keep having bottlenecks because of the batch sizing. So if they need to take 100 in, which is literally what we have, 100 or 1,000, then the time it takes to accrue to put it in to batch it is the is causing the, the problems. Here we have the remainder of the problem, yeah. Okay, I think I'm gonna go back to... Hmm. See, I wanted to build it out there. Ooh, oh, that looks good. I wanted to build it out here at such a dubious um, but let's go be drop by let's drop by Gareth around Sabatron here let's drop by Gareth to see if uh, if things are still working here there let's go there Gareth is in charge of doing 12 rockets per second so that sh would be interesting to see if that working or we suddenly run out of stone or some other trivial thing I have no idea where I'm supposed to go there very low bias Well, the thing is, like, I I like MMOs. If it wasn't for all the the M's, the massive, the multiplayer, and the online part, so if we can, if we can take take the MMO out of MMOs, then I'm then I'm all in. Ten closing combat builds. Uh, have you thought? I mean, that's exactly what we wanted to do. That's actually literally the next step, Baked Beans. Okay, so let's see. I know I've done one big mistake in this one. Looks familiar, that problem. How am I never, I'm never able to find what I'm looking for on this planet. Up here. There it is. Ta-da! Not that, no ta-da's around us. Okay, good. See, here's the thing that I forgot about it. I don't like these being full, so what I should have done many moons ago back when it was actually stockpiling I should have just taken
the idea of this is obviously that just having a bigger buffer. And I should have done that long ago. Does it fly out now? No? Um, hello, I was trying to use some of the designs that I built in the five tiles section of the planet and all sorters ran into each other and wouldn't work. Oh yeah, you can't change them. They, they have to work. Um, you can't just move them from one place to another. That's not how it's supposed to work. That's not how anything generally works in this game. So, like, whatever. Like, small builds like this. Okay, that's not a small build. But stuff like this obviously must be in this region because that's the only place there's room for it. Uh, smaller builds. That's a smaller build. Like these, they will work multiple locations. And welcome. Okay, so this is all good. Now this one will continue to work and build up a bigger buffer, which might be nice. And then the next thing is I want to go to... Oh, by the way, isn't this done? It is not done. Damn it, it never gets done. But look at all of that stuff here. There's so little left. Oh, okay, there's still a lot left. <laughs> I should have intersected these. It would have required more rockets, but less. It would take less, less time. I can't believe it's still, still filling up this one. But it's also like my biggest sphere, so maybe that's, that's okay. Hello, Dime Devil. And let's, oops, let's uh, go out. And I think I want to make the self-contained. I wanted to build out here. No, 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 we want to go to Noah Neal because Noah Neal is the last one we built. I think that's the one we built last time and I want to see how it's progressing, whether it's running out or it's okay. Um, yeah, if you're using the... Oops. If, you, if you're using the blueprints for the ah, thing, polar hub, uh, no, not the polar hub, the, the, let me just show you. This one, Dyson Sphere Builder. Then all of this is broken because splitters don't work with blueprints in specific locations. This does not look good. This is not exactly done anytime soon. Wow. Let's see how the launching is going. Uh, let's go to the launcher. That's that one. Solid bond. Oh, I got confused. There you are. Hmm, synchronized launching still. Swish. Uh, 22,000 out of 130,000. So, yeah, that's going to be a not quite there. Not quite there. Hmm. Not quite there. I don't know why I want to do this, but I want to do it out here. Well, I do know why. It's because this this location is needing some love, and we can give it some love by trying to make a blue science... No, blue thing built. Yeah. It's 
still oh and this is where i thank all the patrons for supporting the channel and uh, as we enter a new month i'm not going to go around and, and deleting planets that uh, for anyone who's been stopping the support that would be stupid right you got it you got your planet when it was ready and uh, then should be good cool ah <sighs> first First uh, start of the month, and just at the end of the month, and at the start of the month, it's always at the middle of the month. No, start of the month, first days of the month, it's uh, it's always like people realizing it. Oh, you have paid X dollars to this random streamer. Like, what? Oh shit, cancel. So start of the month is always like mass cancellation, and then the rest of the month is trying to earn back the ones that uh, that have canceled. It's always like that. At some point, I'll reach an equilibrium where I can get as many new in as I'm uh, as as being uh, uh, losing. That's gotta be that kind of equi equilibrium there. But I'm very happy that there are some who are supporting, and of course, there's always gonna be everyone will be around for a certain number of a certain amount of time, and then move on to other things. Hello, hello, planet. That's a lot of fire ice. Whoops! I was about to do something very illegal. Build it upside down. There, that's better. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good stuff. Okay, so let's um, let's start on this massive design ordeal somehow. Our illustrious <sighs> Hyperactive T, thank you for seven months of tier three support. That is absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for that. I just noticed the leaderboard is very empty. There's only one log frack with uh, the five gifts ups. Easy to seal the leaderboard this time. Uh, when increased research speed, does it affect the time to consume a matrix? Yes, no. Does it affect the time? Yes, that's the whole idea of the speed. Yes. It, it is only changing the speed. It's not a productivity gain. All right, so let's, um, ah, this sucks because I actually am going to need something else that's going to be forbidden. I don't think I can even request this, can I? No. Then as much as I'd like, I can't build it here. I have to build it at St. Cabbage. Uh, are bit different stars better or worse? Yes, they are. I'll just show you while I'm in hyperspace. I'm just gonna go back. Same cabbage. Go back to Vichu. Is it just me or have we seen Vichu for a while now? Okay, let me get away from the gravity well and there. 
Cool. Okay, so let's have a look. The different stars have different classes. So, for example, this one is a red giant. It has luminosity 0 0.886, so that's not much. While this one is a blue giant, it has luminosity 2.0. So, think of our star as having luminosity 1. So, it's, it means that solar sails and solar panels around a blue giant will be twice as effective, while around a black hole, no, a white dwarf, will be... Well, not great. Uh, actually, a black hole will be 0 0.1, I mean, 18% as effective. So, definitely there's a big difference. Yes, in cabbages. So, all ratios for sign production are messed up. Nope. Oh, right. Uh, no, okay, okay, now I got it. It's changing the matrix speed it doesn't change the crafting speed time devil now i got it okay so this one here only changes the research speed not the crafting speed yep yeah so sorry misunderstood the answer is to build around blue giants correct blue giants and type o stars those are the best because you get more value for money in terms of solar panels and solar sails but that's not why I did it in why I'm doing it by. I'm trying to prefer, I'm preferring those, but not exclusively. Whoa. And we're back home, almost. And I'm in orbit. Uh, this might be an okay place to build. Hey, oh, whoa, whoa, that's bad. Not the, this, not the gifts up, that's not bad. But uh, my clicking here. Thank you, Tegavara, for gifting a sub to Dime Devil. We are unfortunately going to need these exclusively. Five oh three. Take a Are you displaying that beautiful? Yeah. Oh, look at that! You're number two on the leaderboard. <laughs> these are green assemblers. These are Mark II assemblers. You don't know what to do with the sub? Just. Throw some emotes around. Oh, auto save. Just so it's not blank. Thank you. And look at that. Now you can have a number one. Number one. Yeah. Cool. That should be enough to get us started. So why am I taking Mark II? Insertos for the or assemblers for this venture, I guess. Let's go here. Hello, Fred. Good evening. There, because by the time I'm building blue science, I don't have the red one. Uh, the I always say red, blue ones. The better ones so here I'm going to build no I'm not ah, okay. matrix labs let's get a few of those here so I think I'll try to build something that takes one per second then let's just see what it looks like and then we'll, we'll, maybe we'll maybe it'll make sense maybe it won't make sense um, that means I need 10 of these it's 5 10 there I think 2 per second is better ratio yeah I think so too 1 2 3 4 
five, six. I have no idea what I just did. I love that you can see them. Can you stack them that high at the current tech level? Stack them up to 15 in at the maximum tech level. And it's not an infinite research, so I feel yes, but... That one is the green one. This one just gives two layers of vertical construction. So yeah, I can tag it up to 13 at that point. Uh, I think I'll try it at one. Just to see what it's like. Okay, so what is it we want for one per second? Uh, we need... One of those. So good. And then this one will require. Oh, that's horrible. That is again just two per second. So carbon nanotubes. Let's figure out how many of those we need. We're gonna assume the normal ones. Yeah. Are we? I just feel carbon nanotubes is something. This is a base material, in my opinion. The problem is, I don't, I don't think plastic is a base material, because I only make plastic for what I need it for. But I think that you want to always have enough sil crystal silicon. Whether you get it one way or the other, you always want to have enough carbon nanotube. Whether you get it from one or the other, then I just. I don't like this one if I have to sort of provide the graphene in here. That just doesn't feel right. Plastic, I can totally see that. Uh, basic, okay, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Okay, let's. Let's make it and then see what it's going to turn out as. It's just two of these. It makes two per four seconds, so one per two second. And this one was needing two per second. Oh, no, okay. So it's four. All right, let's decompose this one first. Crystal silicon. This is one per second and I need it two per second, so I don't I don't like this idea. Like there's no way I'm gonna have this here and then bring silicon in. I mean, I mean maybe I am maybe I'm bringing silicon in. I really need some kind oh hold on, we can actually use this feature. Aha! Memo, what are we bringing in? Inbound. I can't remember. Titanium, yes. 
That's definitely a raw material we're bringing in. And then I'm going to do another. This is to get me some kind of idea about what are the things I'm bringing in at every step of the way. And then I'm also bringing graphene in, but the graphene I'm going to be pretending to build over here. Now this is now three per second. I need three of these per second. <laughs> Good night, Grillo. So how much did I need? I needed three per second. That can't be done. That can't be done. Damn it. This is making two per second. So I'm going to have to get the half of the last one. That one and that one. So that actually means we don't even have this. We don't even have this one. Does that mean we have to make sulfuric acid as well? It doesn't make sense this part. I'm sorry, but it, it to me it doesn't make sense. So I was I was actually thinking, hey, I can build a build here that will take make one per second, I can stamp it down. And then if you later on go like, no, I don't want one per second, I want three per second, then you just stamp down more of them. But at this point, if I break it down, then it's only going to be useful for the first build. Because after the first build, you're, you're never going to do this. You're going to bring in some sulfuric acid. You're probably going to make this from fire ice. You're going to make this from the other component. You're going to make the other one from the other component. And then all of the production chain I'm building here is completely irrelevant because what do we define as base materials? The stuff that you can find without warping, is that how we want to go? Because the guys, it is a crazy annoying thing to make in the beginning. And once you bait it once, you're, it's the first thing you go out and get because that's a lot of crap here. Yeah. It would be like... It would be something you could go, yay, purple sign, stamp it down, fill in all the blanks. And then after that, you can go, well, I'm not going to use that anymore because now I have sulfuric acid. Now I have, we can treat this sulfuric acid as something we get in. And then, well, let's continue to decompose this. Um, but I'm not going to treat this as coal coming in. Okay, so now we have broken this one. Yes, and that one graphene comes here, these ones. Then we have plastic. How much? It's just one plastic, right? Yeah, one plastic per second. That's on a three second cycle, right? Yeah. And that is... more graphite graphene graphite 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 and the other component is something we can only get from one location 
Uh, did we have some of those? Nope, we did not. Yes, we do. There. How much do we need? Two per sec. Two per second. Okay. Then if I I need four of these. That's four. And in order for me to get four, then I also need four inbound of oil. And unfortunately, we also need some outbound here of hydrogen. <coughs> Your favorite millennial is here, absolutely. Good evening. I don't get why I, I didn't just do this makes so much more sense instead of trying to be on both sides but I should just do it here right so this is the build for one one per second and what are the resources we need inbound we need oil got it on first planet graphite got it on first planet more graphite yep so here guys it and that one. Oh, we don't have it. We don't have processors yet. Don't forget processors. Oh, I am forgetting processors. That is very much my intention. All right. So that was one. Actually, I think I should do it in a different way. I can take it in from the other side. Oh, that got a bit too close. Oh well. I need two processes per second. So that's six of these. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that means I will need. I know the answer is eight, but I'm just going to pretend that I'm calculating it again. Uh, this one will be four of these crystalline thingies per second. And that means I need eight. And then we need to set inbounds for this. This will be... Oh, green circuits. Two per second times two. That's four per second. This one is making two per second. So I need two of these. Good. This one has no inbounds because they are all taken care of. This one has inbounds of... Copper and silicon. This one does copper and iron, so that's okay. Good. So my neighbor is getting its gas lines upgraded and that required them to dig up a few sidewalks. They're finally replacing the sidewalks and it looks like a few of my neighbor's drivers got destroyed in the process. Uh, that I can convince them to destroy my guy driveway. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that makes sense. So how, this is the easy part. This is the finding ratios. Or now we found the ratio for doing it one per second. I 
think we should build it two per second. Yeah, I think so. I think once we have these kind of things, it just doesn't make sense. One, two, three, four. Actually, this this whole thing is super annoying. Oops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three more. This one though, I think it'll go to nine. So it's four more. This is now divided by three, so it's two, uh, that's three times two, that's six, six per second, that's what we wanted. Got some more. Ten. Do we need, do we think we need? Don't know, we'll see. Let's get a few more. What's it for? Uh, this build or your driveway? The driveway is for, uh, for your car. But this build I'm building here is for two purple signs per second in a starter base. So trying to sort of say, what is it you have in your starter system? That's the stuff you uh, you can use. Yeah. So that builds this thing here. And then we have to manage all of the inputs here. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. To me, that's two outputs. Two. I think you need three. Oh, this is ah. Uh, Yeah, but I'm actually seeing this as only needing two. Like, one, oil, hydrogen, whatever it's called, graphite, sulfuric acid, that's four. And then we can add the height, the, we can add the output here. And then on the other side, we will have silicon, titanium, copper, iron. Then I have one left for warpers potentially which would also mean that um, <laughs> I should probably bring I should make sure that I only have three I three and three hello Lauti. Um I should have three in one plus warper plus the purple and I should have five in the other one so it's going to be one, two, three, four. Nah, I'll put titanium over on this one. This one is titanium plus that one. Okay, so that means actually if I switch these two, which makes perfect sense anyway. Yes. Okay, so that was the easy part. By the way, this is um, how? Why? Why do I have two of these? Please, please, why? <clears throat> I definitely just delete this. Mm, 
anything else? That one. Gone. So how do I start this? I'm gonna need some more, get some more space to get it started. The question, biggest question is probably like, do we start it by just, okay, how, what are the dimensions? I think it's, it's gonna be a long line and then I'll have some things like going around and then merging into the lines and then products will just float that way and then they'll sort of float no, they can't really flow towards the middle, can they? The question is also how how many do I want to have of these in one build? Like another alternative would be actually to take one in here and one in there and then just make it like a blob. Long production lines are the prettiest, yes. But it could also be sort of This is one and this is the other. And then in the middle, where are you? We'll have these things. Okay, that's actually just gonna be one tower, but the idea is, the idea is good enough, right? Like this one com makes one stuff and then merges in here. This one makes one, the other stuff like processes and merge in here. And then it goes from here and back again. Instead of having them like really far away and then sort of merging into the middle because in the middle I'll still also have the purple signs and then go back in either direction. This way I'm, I can sort of edge and I, I think I'll try this. Okay, so we're going to have oil inbound, we're going to have hydrogen outbound, junk hydrogen, then we are going to have graphene, graphite, and then we're going to have that one and then we will have titanium yeah in the top one we will have iron copper silicon purple and then warbers later on so they're available make it long then it could fit into more locations on the planet that's a good point but I like this. I like this idea. All right, let me let me build the starter one. This one is definitely going to be here. Well, I don't care about how you build your other stuff because you can just move it. If you want to build this, it's it should of course not be something. Oh, it. Like, I wouldn't build it so that it's only working at the poles, right? Because that's somewhere that's sacred. Oops. What did I build for yellow? Um, that one. This is yellow. So first we have organic crystals built. And then we have the actual build here. I could make them sort of extensions of each other, but it actually like the idea of what I did. Long build with lots of layered belts. What? Yes. Let's have a look. The first thing is we need is eight of these and they are going to get some outbound. They're just going to get, they can barely be done in any other way than this. But if I wanted to do like there, Yeah. 
Oh, they're not even placed correctly. Oh! Don't do that. Onwards and backwards. This might actually be a problem uh, with the amount of inputs and outputs I have. So I can't overuse these. Let's kill that because that's not really what I need right now. So I could build. I have a plan and you're not gonna like it. That's the, I'm not saying the least amount of inputs I can use, but it's suddenly less inputs. not bad with those amounts splitters in one output from line is an option thank you Fennec that's exactly what I ended up doing if this is just an early game build you could size out the storage tanks such that they don't drain uh, that's not really making any difference at this point I'd rather have them available to the network because otherwise I'm building something and go like oh yeah by the way it'll only run for 10 hours and then it'll jam your entire base I don't think that's some a way I want to make tutorials and designs right it's hydrogen now oh, that's always always what I do wrong hydrogen light oil hydrogen light oil Hydrogen, light oil. Hydrogen, light oil. Exquisite. And then what? Oh, I don't have that here. So now we've made this small, compact, on to the next. Next time we'll play, I'll crank it up to max, maybe 180. What? At 30? I've always been at 30 per second, 30 watt per second. Okay, I am going to take a short break when this one comes out of uh, of break time. This actually seems to be fitting with our break. Whew. 
I like this idea. I'm not sure how it's gonna pan out in the end, but I like the idea. Oh, Gunther. Okay, cool. Let's look at it like this. That looks better. Cool. I will be back in two minutes and I will continue making this really hopefully crisp build and then see how that works. See you in a bit. And welcome back. Let's get all of these things up and running. Yeah, I like this sphere. This is a very nice sphere. It is also sand cabbage, so hey. He is a nice sphere. <laughs> Damn. All right, what is the next thing? Next thing is plastic. So now we need six of these working on plastic. And they have four inputs and outputs. So that makes it a lot easier though. That means I can actually do stuff like Then I am going to get here. Yeah, I'll sneak around. Actually, I think I'd rather sneak it on the other side. I think just feel it feels better on this side. Input, input, and. I'll make it longer so we know that's the output. And this is also going to be easy. Uh, always start with the one, that one, that one, and out. In, in, and out. And it's just six of these. What do you do on your break? It's only two minutes long. I am aware that it's only two minutes long. What I do on my break, I get something to drink. I check up on the kids. I manage my inputs and outputs. Or I just check if something has happened on sort of various locations, maybe in moderator chat, if someone has been contacting me about something. So um, I don't, in the beginning, I um, when I didn't do this, I did like so many other streamers and I did not like this, but so many other streamers, or most other streamers, they are streaming, 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 and then they go, be right back, and they run out. And it, I, 
that's not part of it. So just schedule regular breaks and you can use them for your inputs and outputs as you like, instead of just feeling like, oh no, I, I have to find an excuse for me taking a bio break. And everyone's... Never understood what the logic behind 4x2 design. Okay. As in why it was made or how to use it. So it's um, it's it's quite a relief for me just to do it. Also when we play like a really difficult game, then it's also super nice for me to have a schedule break so that if I'm tilting then I can untilt in that and then I can come back and go like, you know what? I'm not having fun. Let's do something else or I'll come back there. All right. Now I'm ready to do this again. <laughs> I leave a video running. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm not that kind of streamer. I absolutely loathe people eating. It doesn't matter what. If someone is eating on stream, I am I'm not watching. It's guaranteed. I cannot watch someone. Um, 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 um. Like, no. Take a fucking break. But of course it it's is this misunderstood work mentality where we go like, oh no, I, I have to, I have to wake up early in the morning and go jump straight onto the stream and then stream all day. Why? Now that one's not connected. Okay, you know what? Power pole's not worth optimizing. Also, sometimes you see streamers and they are... They just... I watched today a VOD of someone and then on the first stream, I'm like... Alright, let's get into this. It was, it was quite clear they just rolled out of bed, turned on OBS, and they were like, all right, another grind. And then you can just look at the the recording, and it's 11 hours long. It's like, you rolled out of bed in the morning, you stream for 11 hours, and then what, right? <laughs> yeah, it's... It's it's like I don't think that the first fifteen minutes of of you just or the first half hour where you're just half asleep still, this, it, you're not gonna lose anything from that. Trayvon, thank you for the prime for eight months. Appreciate it. it. That's also why like some people are like why do I have a, a countdown? Like it's both for me and for you. Now you know that the stream starts at eight o'clock, and then uh, you that means that when the that timer is up, you can well ignore it, or you can go like, ah, okay, let me just uh, park my wife in front of some romantic comedy so I can get a peaceful evening, or throw the kids to bed, or set some dinner over, or whatever. You can just go like, ah, okay, now I'm, now I, I know it's not. I mean, of course you'd know when I start anyway, but it's, I, I think it's, otherwise like. I also feel it's it's really strange if I just I, if I come in and I turn on the stream immediately, there will be zero people. So who am I talking to? I know that's a problem that a lot of streamers struggle with, but I mean, am I then gonna be waiting with something good? Because there's no reason wasting it on just Vichu who's in chat as the first person. I'm not gonna waste my golden rants on just one on, on just him. He has heard them before anyway. So this is also a great way that when I'm starting the show, there will be people here. The show. <laughs> uh, okay. Wow. Way to trigger me. Quantity beats quality a lot in the streaming biz apparently. No. No, no, no. Absolutely 100% not. Not if you're doing it right. But of course, if uh, if you see someone, and it's the twentieth of the month, and their uh, their leaderboard 
looks like mine, like 500 bits donated and five subs donated. Of course, you're not gonna make money off that. So you're, the only way you make money is through the ad revenue and maybe you have 2000 viewers, then the only way you make money is through ad revenue. And there are seriously people who make the majority from ad revenue, which doesn't mean that they make a lot of money. That just means that, yeah, that just means that they don't make a lot of money because they have no few subs, no gifts, no, um, yeah, no interaction. And and then you can go like, okay, they, there's a linear correlation between the amount of time I stream and my income. Then you go like, well, if I can put in 11 hours, then I'm gonna make 11 times shitty uh, CPMs. I'm not saying it's good, but it just seems to work right. And I'm telling you, it is not working that way. So please, it is not. It is 100% not working that way. There are, if you have 10,000 viewers, you're making a bit on, on, uh, on ad revenue. But why, why would there be? <laughs> the people with 10,000 concurrent viewers are making an absurd amount of money anyway. So it's not the ad revenue that makes any kind of difference here. The sponsorships uh, are way bigger part of it. It's. It is on Twitch. You're not making money off ad revenue, and they will, of course, it works for XQC. That is, sorry to say, the stupidest argument. XQC is the single largest streamer on the platform, so using him as an argument for everyone is pretty damn bad. That's like using Messi as an example of what all football players can do. Like, yeah, it's not really how very representative. So it's, and, and people are streaming themselves sleeping. Ludwig did that because it was part of a gimmick and oh yeah, he made an absolute fuck ton of money because it's a gimmick and because he's Ludwig and he's super entertaining and charismatic. And even when sleeping, he's more charismatic than most other streamers so yeah 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 it's like oh well just run there how far is it 100 meters oh well it takes 10 seconds then well i mean i might need more than 10 seconds to run 100 meters but you said bolt can do it yeah but yeah it's not really a way good way to do to to take like the very top but looking across the platform people are not making a lot of money on ad revenue on Twitch. YouTube, yeah, that's that's how most of the money is made. Definitely not, um, definitely not here. But of course there are some who make a lot of money. Like, okay, so the, the example is Amaranth. Amaranth makes $40,000, supposedly $40,000 on ad revenue per month. You go like, what, $40,000? Yeah, but she's pulling in 1.2 million per month. So the 40,000 is still not very much, right? And that's so, 40,000 is a lot, but it's 40,000 out of 1.2 million. So, I mean, would she really notice if it's not there? So again, percentage wise, for me, ad revenue on Twitch is less than 1% of my income from Twitch. Not even my income, my income from Twitch, it's less than 1%. So streaming more, the only reason for me to stream more would be more opportunity to engage, more opportunity to hype trains, that kind of thing, but not just linearly more streams. For example, if I streamed in the morning, I would not make more money. I would just be super tired. And uh, so, so no, it is not. A lot of people, and I think it's mainly come back to one of my favorite pet peeves. Uh, and yet her mods still work for free. Yeah, the mods probably, but she has an eight person team managing her uh, her accounts across various platforms. So it's, it's, she is a business, right? So uh, she is a brand and that brand needs more people, but the mods in the Twitch chat, yeah, sure. So for us, uh, somehow Minecraft is extremely toxic community. For some reason, it's super toxic. It really shouldn't, but maybe it's because it's 13 year old boys and they don't know any etiquette on YouTube. I don't know how to handle that. 
don't be part of it. Minecraft community is super toxic. And uh, it's full of drama and toxicity. Minecraft is not toxic. Minecraft community is toxic. Someone like Tommy in it, for example, he gets exposed to so much abuse. It's almost as toxic as League. Yeah, which is incredible, right? This is a game where you're just playing for yourself. There's no competitive aspect. I can understand why League is 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 toxic because you I lost because of the four idiots who didn't carry me. <laughs> so now it's <clears throat> It, yeah. I think it's it's an interesting, it's an interesting prospect. And okay, so my pet peeve here was the ones I was mentioning. My pet peeve is a fallacy that is the American dream, and that is, if I just work harder than anyone else, I'm gonna make it. That is the stupidest thing ever, and that is the reason why people get up in the morning, stream twelve hours for two viewers one of them is their is their night bot and the other one is their preview stream and they go like all right tomorrow i'm going to do 13 hours if i just work harder than anyone else i'm going to make it no you're not you're not going to make it it's it's not how the world works it never was it never was how it uh, how it works and it's a I dare say this is what rich people tell poor people to keep them working hard, right? You take stories of people who work really hard and made it so that I can get you to work really hard. So because, hey, I'd rather want you working really hard. And, and it's just, there are, it's, it's, you can just see that the, the, the people who, who, make it are not necessarily the ones there there's very often someone who really just puts in a grind puts a lot of work in and then after a while they they're done and then they don't lose anything because they have established their brand there's also people who just have very like look at look at the uh, youtube channels like mark rober or uh, cp gray one video a month yet extremely successful so quantity not quality it's not about working not that they're not working hard they're just not cranking out daily videos so i think um, on youtube quality beats quantity quantity and on twitch there's a certain element of of uh, of quantity but there has to be a certain level of quality to it but a lot of reason for the atheism to fall fail is they're not entertaining i can understand that i mean i'm exhausted after four hours and i do just spend a bit of time on just knowing what I wanted to do. I also want to do this thing here that up here as well. So uh, you have to be live to get uh, viewers, but you have to be good to get better videos. Yeah. Yeah, views. Yep. Um, I my my first question to anyone who ever wants to be a content creator is always what are you doing differently? Why would why would anyone watch you instead of the 9.5 other million 9.5 million other people on Twitch streaming right now? Why would they come to see exactly you? If you can't answer that, your audience can't answer that either. And now something completely different. Nine is also a bad number. Yep, there are 9.5 million regular streamers on Twitch. get this in back in the day when we were all on modems <laughs> it wouldn't work no 
the viewpoint of view, I think success of a streamer comes from. Haha. Unimatrix, thank you for the four months. Yay! Well, yay, but right back at you. Uh, game video two, that's why people, kids play Apex. Okay. Uh, just give me the mic. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's because they, they want the fame, but they haven't stopped to think about how to get there, the journey there. They just wish they were there. But that's that's the same people, the same as people buying lottery tickets. They want to be rich, but they don't know how to get there. So they just take this one in a million chance. I'm really thinking there must be some way that I can build it on the outside. This is making one per second. Oh, right, hold on, hold on. This one is not relevant at all to that. Okay. That might be something, right? This can now sneak by on the other side. Aha. To be honest, top streamers in terms of view account are not that creative as well as just gain the views by exploiting connections. I, I, I'm not gonna be that, I'm not gonna be that black and white, but there are the OG, like for example, Tim the Tatman and uh, Dr. Lupo, Dr. Disrespect. Uh, there are a lot of people who've been in the game for so long that they grew with the platform and like, and they wouldn't make it, they probably, maybe wouldn't make it today because the environment was different when they grew up. But someone like Ludwig is a different example. He's only been streaming for two years and he's massive. So, so I think that it's, there are, there are some who, and this is also where it stems from. We, if you go into some of the OG and ask for advice on how to become a streamer, they will tell their journey. Their journey was, they went on the platform, there weren't very many people because it was called Justin TV back then, and they just sat down and they streamed, and there weren't a lot of people there, and they were online all the time, and people just came there, and then the platform grew, and they grew with it, and they go like, you just have to be online all the time because that's what worked for me 10 years ago. And they go like, yeah, but... Back then there were 100 streamers, now there's 9.5 million. It's not exactly the same strategy. I think Dr. Disrespect is probably different because he is so different. But someone like Tim the Tatman is... Does he do anything unique? Ludwig is hot. Yes, that also helps. <laughs> Lead the DSPD leaderboard. <laughs> yes. And unfortunately, I wouldn't mind not doing that because it's actually uh, like it's it's not a great to be the leader of such a small category. I'd much rather have a bigger, more active category. I'm really, really problem here with the fact that there's nine of these. That's really bugging me. <laughs> it really is. Gotta start streaming League or CSGO? Nope. TFT maybe. But then my moderators come in and say, no, please don't do it. I really wish I had a game like like TFT that I could just play. Out, oh, they'll collide with each other. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Right now, it's, it's true. Let's do that immediately. Oh, 
I'm just. Then I need sulfur as well. It's not good. This is not good. I don't think this is a good idea. I don't. Uh, maybe not a good idea, but I don't think it's necessary. Because I could then just go here. Hold on. That one could be here. That one could be there. That one could be... See, this is one of the problems with this. Is you get an idea, and then... It takes a bit of getting... So, that one... This one will then come into the middle. Which is good, because that's where I want it. And then... I'll get this one on the outside, ready for going further down. Yes. Okay. And then all of the inserters are incorrect. Gonna be so intricate this one. There. Okay. So now I can take from this location. Would it be possible to go? Would it be possible just to go in here and then around? Yes. I know that I don't have enough, but I'm just looking at the, if it's possible to build it. And then that will be output. That will be output. And then I'll get up here on this side, the sulfuric acid coming in, which will go in and be split between. that one and that one makes no sense makes no sense what I'm doing here like why would I double up everything but I, I kind of have to right even though this one will then have way too many just looks so weird I like smaller streams if a stream has 100 comments per minute I can't Ask a question about the game I'm interested in. Yeah, I really appreciate the streamer who has the ability to say, Oh, hey. I try, I try. But you're going to have to be uh, hanging around here a lot longer than you have. To, uh, to sort of, let me see. Or at least be more active than 14 chat messages. <clears throat> Followed since uh, 23rd of August. Yeah, okay. Don't know you yet. I like this idea, but it just seems weird that I'm doing it this way. But the great part is that I can then get this one is this one's the plastic moving on, and then I'll have the yeah okay. Let's uh, tighten it up here. Odin! Odin's not. Thank you for gifting a sub to uh, 
our new guest. Now our new subscriber. Ah, <sighs> the student can't follow the chat anymore. Well, um, yeah, I, I agree, but that's also maybe. Uh, I mean, if I ever get there, it's gonna be sub only chat. I can just as well say that. I am at times considering it. But I like the fact that people can just come in and chat when they want. Hey, Unimatrix, thank you for gifting a sub. Ooh, look at that. Rolling in with gift subs. And how to save. Hey Skippy, thank you for gifting a sub. Alright, that's three subs gifted. I both like it and don't like it. This part here. Yeah. I mean, the gift subs I always like, but this part about that one. Our modest fellowship expands. Praise the sub. That's much better location. There. Cool. And Unimatrix gifting another sub. Thank you. It has to be five different ones. Oh, what, what? How did that suddenly... Oh, then it's no longer connected. Why? Hmm. Hey, Tegavaro. Thank you for... The 200 bits, triggering a little hype train. Yeah. Hey Cyclops, thank you for the 500, uh, 500 bits, yes, and that was a hype train activation. Okay, let's see if I, if I get this right. Uh, that is the coal, and the coal will cut off that one. And then go back into the middle one, which is going back. Yes, that's complex. And Unimatrix gifting another sub. Oh yes, hype hype. Inbound, and that's inbound, and I think that's outbound. That was funny. The bar just moved. Right now it's just moved. But there are no new events. So maybe someone subscribed but didn't call it out. That was that was weird. The bar definitely moved. And that's the outbound. Uh, I don't like this. I'm sorry but I really don't like it. No, it's it's someone who subscribed and, uh, and just didn't do the call out. I don't like it. It just feels so wrong doing it this way. <sighs> Is there any way that I can do it in another way that doesn't have all of these? I I like the fact the boost buildings, but the fact that there are like six lanes right here, it's just too much. Like for example, this one could be just on the outside easily. And this one could also be on the outside. That would actually just help. Remove that. Alright, hey Sunny Psycho, thank you for the gifts up. Alright, it's not the it's not roaring off the tracks these uh, this hype train here, but uh, let's see if we can at least get it off the station. <laughs> Oh no, that doesn't work. Now I cut off the middle one. Ah, damn it. Our modest fellowship expands. <sighs> Raise the sub. Hey, Take Aurora, thank you for gifting a two more subs. There we go, yeah. 
I need to have a 3x3, three three, uh, but I don't know how to do this. Oh no, that was not what I wanted. Oh no, all the way from me, from, from where? Oh no, it, it was all of it. Shoot. Hmm. Hmm. Keep it going. Yes, let's see if we can keep it going. And for anyone interested in Factorio, this also, of course, counts to the, towards the Factorio hype train. I think I need to build it with just a bit more space in between and then try again. I'm sorry, this... Uh, I, I, was, I thought it was there, but I just didn't like it when we finally got it built. Alright, so it's pretty obvious that it has to be something, something, and something. If this is outbound, then the other outbound has to be between these. Yes? If this is sulfur in, then the other sulfur has to be over here. Yeah? A kind gesture. I will help push it, but I won't snipe it. Ah. Uh, thank you, Tegevaro. Just push it. It it's, it doesn't look like it's a, 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 a rocket train today. Again, it, I, I really like this idea that it's one continuous one. And then that goes in here. Okay. Sulfur and sulfur. That means they... All three can reach. Outbound and outbound. That means all three can reach. A kind coal and coal. That means it all of them can reach. And it's less awful because this one has four lanes and it could make you with only three lanes available. Hey, Kenix, thank you for the 200 bits. All right, let's see what this situation is on this one. Let's see, Unimatrix with three subs and uh, Cyclops with 500 bits. Yep. Okay, I like this better. It's uh, less awful, I think. Yeah. And then... This is cool. This is outbound. Uh, could I label belt? Uh, maybe. I, it, it's just that I change them all the time, so I just feel it's super wasteful to keep labeling them. All right, one minute and 20. I don't think this hype train is getting us anywhere, but um, well, this is the return. And that one's okay. So let's get. Final chance to snipe. Cyclops, wow, my name shall forever be uh, encapsulated in minerals in Factorio. Well, until you mine it out. Yeah, it's going to be 100, so it'll probably be mine out. 100,000. <clears throat> it's never these streams that too much. You know, so that one. Hey, take a borrow. Thank you for the 500. Uh, let's see, these are both inbound, so that's just inbound, 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 inbound. And then I don't need to take from this one, but I do need to output on... That was the train for now.
Thank you for that little hype train. And Cyclops and Unimatrix will now have their names immortalized for a bit in uh, in the Factorio series. These are now the two outputs of this monstrosity here. Okay, I think this is looking much better. <laughs> it's not looking very different, I acknowledge that, but I think it's still looking much better. Can't believe I can't build it here. Oh no, then it doesn't work on the outside. Ah, never mind. There. All right, that works. Now we've reduced everything to just these two lanes. So what is it we have outbound? Uh, this is not it. This is graphene. There. A church chat isn't Danish <laughs> food food. <laughs> it is. Yeah. Cheapest hype train conductor I've ever got. Yeah, you know, I know. That's what uh, the main purpose of Dyson Sphere programs dreams. That's for cheap hype trains. All right, so let's go. This, we now have these three things. So now we need to put it into this one. That's gonna be the next one. How many is that one? Eight. Eight more chemical plants. Eight more chemical plants. And what do they need? They need titanium, which I guess is gonna come from out here. and graphene quick question maybe I'm missing something but why are you not using the splitter cross trick like usual um, I don't know where I would use it it's not because I'm not don't want to use it it's just like I don't see where I would use it so this is taking way less space by curving it around. Okay, this is definitely... Here I might use it though. Because I'm... Let's put, put it over here so I can manage it. Uh, let's build it here. That could be the output and then two in there and then two in there right so I could get like final output final output final output and then I need two inbounds and that's gonna be uh, not great I guess because the easiest thing is just saying one of them is gonna be here and the other one inbound and then inbound and then I have oh that's actually not bad graphene doo -doo 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 -doo. will now be
I like it. And this one is... What was that? That was... Something we built earlier. Uh, plastic? Yeah, this is plastic. So plastic, I don't know where that's going, but it's going somewhere. See, that's actually... I'd like to build them a bit further apart so it looks a bit nicer. But I have to figure out... This one is now on the wrong side. So... I might have to drag it out here. Or... Even worse... This one might have to go in... No, it can't go into that. Okay. This graphite belt could be on the closest lane. Yes. This one could be in the middle lane, and then you could actually be on that lane. That's actually maybe better. Except that I'm going to now have two lanes out here that's coming in from this side. There. So that's going to make it more difficult to pass by. Okay, so we'll keep it on this side, and I might have to drag it through here. We don't know exactly where that's going to be. Because what we have come out with here is the... I'll just press random buttons. You're getting this one and this one, right? The nanotubes and the plastic. So we just need the crystal silicon somewhere. Which could be in... Which is going to be coming from the other one. There's a silicon. Uh, yes, uh, Slinky P, that's, you're absolutely right, they move backwards, they visually move backwards, it's super annoying. It's the frame rate, we're down to 23 frames per second. What's our power, what is this one actually doing? Uh, not great. Ah, right now we're doing something else, I don't want to be distracted right now. I'm making good progress on this one, so let's not, uh, oops. Kill that good progress here. That one. I don't like this exact location. This is better. That's the titanium coming through. Yes. Titanium going through. This is... Still have this one, which is problematic. So they're all heading in the same direction. That's at least something. Okay, and... Input, 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 input. Okay, and then I just need eight of these. So that's going to be like a little compact build. And this is then outbound. Which... I'm just also feeling that I could... I could move it closer without really suffering anything from it, right? Yeah. At least one tile closer. Nope. 
These builds do take a long time to build. But I think that on the other hand it's also just so nice once it's built. And maybe someone will actually use it. Who knows? So now these two are going out, and this is the plastic. I don't know if it's better to take it out at this point to there. I think so. Yep. There. Ow! Curse my clumsiness. Now I can't remember anything. What? Ah, no. Look at that. The blueprint is stupidly broken. I hate blueprints. This, the why are they always bad? It's this one. It's a bad blueprint. There's nothing I can do about it. I can't deselect this one. I'll have to deselect all of this crap. Now. Haven't I done this before? then it is now re-established just one tile closer it just looks better this way that one's connecting right yes it is Right, oh no, 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 no. How is that not working? There. Whew. That is uh, one part. <clears throat> the center sort of wrong, the center sort of. You're right. These are supposed to be outputs. Thank you, that's a really good spot. Oh man, that would take forever to find. And then I'm just kind of worried about this now. It's also because this one, like, is that one across? I 
don't know. Hello, Lars. Okay, so now... Now the question becomes, do we take like this tower down here? I just supplement more crap and then have these two other ones like going out on the side until we need them or do we what? I don't know. Okay, so let's build our processor build. That's easy to build. We built that a few times. All right, let's go grab. Oh, maybe I should just, uh, before I start the next design, just take my short break. I like this design. This is fun thing to design. It's like a Factorio Masterclass thing. Yeah, blueprints don't work. Blueprints randomly don't work. They are exactly so reliable that you come to rely on them, but exactly so unreliable that it's super frustrating that they don't work. If they were more unreliable, you wouldn't count on them working, you would be happy when they worked, but if they, <laughs> with this level of reliability, you are just, you're assuming they work because they work 98% of the time, but 2% failure rate is still way too much. That's how I feel, at least. If it was like it works 80% of the time, then you would go like, well, let's see if it works. Nope. Okay, never mind. I'm not saying that would be better, but it's just expectation wise. Updates or blueprints? Uh, blueprints. Blueprints are broken. They do wrong things. You make a, le a valid build and then you take a blueprint of it and you can't stamp down the blueprint again. That's problematic. Why didn't I just do that one? Yeah, that's a good one. Except it's blue, right? Oh, they're actually correct. Sweet. This is the build. That's it. Uh, hold on. Silicon. And copper, I guess. And I don't think this is working. Uh, I'm missing something, by the way, because here I'm going to get the circuits in, and I don't have the circuits yet. They're not being built yet, so maybe I need to build the circuits first. And circuits require the iron and the copper. Copper is here. Iron I can take out. I don't think I need... I definitely don't need two belts here, so... Oh, sorry, I forgot to take my break. Ha! Let me get that break then. And I will take a short break. Two minutes. Wow. What the hell happened? I don't think I've ever experienced this. So over the last hour, we've lost 100, 100 viewers. I don't think that's ever happened. I don't know what I've done and said to, to scare off everyone like that. That never happens. That's weird. Anyway, I'll be back in two minutes. Thank you for joining.
And welcome back. Looks like everyone joined again. I guess Twitch doing maintenance or something. Anyway, that's not what... Uh, oh. oh, that's... So when I do this, they s replace the recipe? Hmm. Okay. Well, we are continuing. Undeterred. I'm really happy about this design here. You all left, joined, left, joined again. Yeah. Okay, well, it's out. Oh, out to save. Out to save. We are out to saving here. Yeah, well, at the end of the day, I don't. Usually don't. I don't check the view count continuously, but there was just. On the break, I was like, whoa, that's weird. But it was just weird. It was not like. It was not something I did. All right, so. <clears throat> Wouldn't the easiest just be to... Okay, so I have three of these. That means I need two per second. But... This one is producing two per second, so I just need... Hold on. Oh, it is a bit more. It is a bit more. Okay. I wonder if that could be placed here. Uh, almost, maybe. Right? What if... Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to redo this. Uh, this is requiring copper and silicon. And copper is also being used for this. And then it's just the iron, and the iron can be on the outside. Yeah. Okay, so let's do the design from scratch without anything. Let me just do it here. That one. Here. Then I'll have this is copper. And this is then green circuits. This is these weird little ones. And then silicon will be out here. And... This will be the final product. The processors. And the final thing I need. There. Could that work? Good evening, Merlin. Uh, frozen generation is pretty rough for that one, for power generation. Yeah, okay, I can see that this is much easier, especially for something like this, to get a grasp of what we're doing. Okay, so let's start firing that one. Uh, inbound and you also need to get from I don't agree with these two belts nope there that's better it's super important that these can pick him up easy and that this can also pick up easy and and that one that is a compact complex pattern 
and I'll need to do this four times. Two extended and then reversed on the other side as well. Cool. It also has the advantage that I'm going to need this need the silicon to move on, but all the other ones stop here. Well, processors and silicon will move on, and that's just one line here, so that was makes it a lot easier to make it move on. I think. And then I'm gonna take okay, one, two, three, four, five. Ah, this one is not coming from here. Okay. One, two, three inputs. Five inputs in total. I'm just considering how many things I'm is coming out of the of here. How many of the ports I'm using? Five ports. Now I wonder if I could do... Can I do... Hey, that's funny. <laughs> Why not? And then I need to do all of this one more time. It's so odd that this is different. And let's see. And then some power poles. Use now and then build it. Just gonna stamp it down up there because I have no. I'm stamping it down because I'm gonna make a mistake at some point, and then I'm gonna delete it, and then I'm gonna. Go like, oh, I had a blueprint right. Look at that! They can be placed this close, and they should be. Why are we not just accepting that overlap? It's three. One, two. Is it? Nope. Actually, interesting why I haven't put these in a box yet. 
Uh, oh, look at that. I can see through the world right there. That's some of the belts that are not done. The blueprint tweaks. Yeah, I'm just decided not to use mods. And it's the same as when I play Satisfactory. Everyone goes like, you should play this mod. And I'm like, yeah, but I've decided not to play with mods. And yes, there will be some frustrations to it. It's kind of weird, right? Because I know how to add mods and I can also do it. And I'm doing it in Factorio when I fix things that are annoying. I just add a mod for a squeak through and vehicle snap and you know, those kind of things. I just do that without a care in the world. But for some reason, I think it's because it's early access. Right? And also because the mod manager for Factorio is just the best. Oh no. There we go. Right. So where do we have the names of the outbounds? Whoops. That's the outbound. That's the soft, uh, the silicon that we also need. Good. So processors. Processors, they just need to go straight into where they need to go into. And. The only thing we actually miss at this point is, well, well, first we also need to get this out of here. That one. And then... <sighs> copper. And... Iron comes here. Closest? Yes. And the iron part. There. <laughs> well, thank you, Helen Dawn. I, I think that Merlin, I think that's it, actually. I think it's the fact that you can control it within the game, then it feels like, okay, it feels safe, and even though it isn't, but it, it does feel safe. Um, okay, so here is the next conundrum. Now, there are two things we miss. We missed to making the small weird things. <laughs> the fractal silicon. And once the fractal silicon is made, then we need to put it into the optical crystal things. But I think that the first thing we want to do is make... There. And that continues. And it's prioritized as... It's going to be fun to fire this up, although I don't know if we're going to make it today. This is so slow going. But it's pretty cool. I like it. These are the two things we have, and then we need to smelt this part. Is it eight of those? Yes, eight of those. This one we haven't done. Well, no, 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 we have done that. Uh, uh, have we? Oh, yeah, we have. Okay. So we're getting one, two, and then that's the final one. Hmm. Oops. So this is the question, is this okay that it takes this much space? I mean, it's not really a lot of space, but... It Uh, 
Uh, hold on, is that correct? It's two seconds? Alright. I'm not sure anymore. Uh, let's go. That one. I need two per second, so I need two of these per second. Two of these per second means... 16... No, no, two per second means four per second. I need four of these per second, and this is one of the two. Okay, so this is correct. This one, yeah, I knew it. Is that okay? Why not sideways? Mm -hmm. Like that way? I like it. I, I think that's a good point. But it's coming out here, so has to then go down and up and mm, I all right let's look at the last build maybe we can come up with something different here well that's definitely not enough <sighs> again really should have put this in a box But I think that for me, it's it looks nicer if it goes straight in and curled out instead of curled in straight out. And I think that's a principle people also use when they need to take the fastest route. You will continue on the path for as long as possible and then make a turn. But if you if you think of an, a rectangle, then you would if you go from sort of the corners, it's more likely you take the long straight line and then a turn at the end. And then when you come back, you take the long straight and then a turn at the end. I think so. Well, we're not much into pragmatism in this case. So this is 16 of these. Uh, 16 of the broadband cabling. And this is where we then need all the stuff that we've been gathering earlier. Uh, that will be down this side. These two. That's actually brilliant. Look at that. This one just continues all the way down there. And this one as well. I have no idea what's what. Uh, let's see. This first one is nanotube. Okay, the inner one is nanotubes and the outer one is plastic. Three inputs, one output. How do we do that? I'd really like to get it in. Hold on. Maybe, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Maybe it would be better to have something like. This one outbound. Our illustrious champion. Hello, Nive. Thank you for the tier three for 17 months. That's super, super, super nice of you. And just too nasty. Thank you very much for the 14 months. Good to see you. You are uh, Our illustrious right, champion right next to us. Just too nasty. There you are. Beautiful and desolate. Thank you. And welcome to the uh, stream tonight. We are, by the way, we are trying to do a modular design for 
purple science that takes raw materials in here and then goes more raw materials and then builds at the end here. Ta-da! Oh man, if I could remember my quotes, it says on a Heinz bottle that a man without principles is like, and some, I can't remember the rest, but if you're, you're quoting Luther, then I should be quoting a Heinz bottle just to sort of, we're on the same, same page here. I think it's actually a man without character. But anyway, I'm pretty sure that uh, a Heinz bottle will at any given moment always be, bring, uh, always beat a uh, Lutheran quote. Ever tried to do this more compact and totally spaghetti? No. I can't I can't do it more spaghetti than this. This is already pushing the limit of spaghettification. I I think I have to do that, otherwise the blueprints are fucked up. I mean um, not ideal. And then I need another splitter here. So this is definitely more complicated, but I think it has a point. It's a really bad build, by the way. So why would I think this is better? Well, the advantage of this one oops, is that it is naturally coming out as two different locations. And those two locations might actually fit with us doing almost at least there and there and I don't know, something like this. Because then it's going to be four deep. And this could then go in here. One, two, three. That's too much. That's also one, two, three. It's problematic. in my first factorial playthrough and the second and the third but now I watched the other and he got better cool yeah yeah take it everything is traveling backwards just because we're running around here with 25 frames per second so they don't update as much as they should so they look like they're moving backwards it's confusing if it's a bit confusing for you then it's more confusing for me okay so how do I want to do this? I want to... I should have the outputs... Output... And an input here. Let's say that one. Still too much. This is an input coming from here. And this one, two. Uh, 
there. Now, we, these will be 4x4, four four, but let's pretend that there's just this. So I, it's more about sort of splitting. And... I can't put a splitter here. Here, because that's going to collide. I can't put it right here unless I curve this one later on. So I could put it uh, like that, for example. But then I'm going to have another issue with this. So I guess... I outbound has to be the ones that are replicated by three. So this is out, outbound, outbound, and outbound. These are the three outbounds, yeah? And then I need... I'm imagining that one will come in. And one has to come in from the outside as well, so... Oh man, that's so difficult. Because what I really need is... To place it here. And that goes... Up. Oh, this is actually okay. This, this will be the outbound. Yes. One, two, three outbounds. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Let me just do this just so that you can kind of keep up. Because I can't keep up. And maybe this will help you as well. This one is plastic, I guess. This is the outbound, so that's the... Why are they moving all the time? And this is the inbound of nanotubes. And this is the inbound that I just created, the crystal silicon, and then we do copy pasting now that one and out and out and then what I'm missing is go through this one there easy peasy On a scale from 1 to 10, how much do these squiggles that are you? Mm, a bit. That is a good point. I could probably just get rid of it, couldn't I? It didn't annoy me particularly before you said it, but I guess... And questions, do we think this is better? looks better if it's on the inside here is that better okay I guess, I guess it is okay so this one will have uh, the crystal thingies nope that's not a thing And then here. Try again. 
that is tubes and tubes. But we're not done yet. We're not done yet. You're missing the return though. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Because <clears throat> now I have to delete this again. Because obviously, this is not needing to go further. This doesn't need to go further. This doesn't need to go further. And this doesn't need to go further. And neither does this one. Yeah, sorry. All that work. See, this is why I didn't do it. Because it just didn't feel right. Okay. And then I need this part to be put into splitters that go there. And there. Continue. You continue. And this is the worst one. Uh, third row green soda only input. Do you mean these ones? Good spot. Very good spot. Thank you. Was that the one? And then proceed. And you. Thank you. Uh, for the great gap between particle broadband and crystal silicon. Yeah, because this is not a permanent build. This is just a... Uh, Sent to test one, but then I'm now I'm just elaborating on it way too much. Uh, is that actually needed even? No. No. I know this is just to see if it works and I would say that this works that the whole thing needs to be swished over by uh, by some space this part we'll take it as close as possible I'm not gonna take it before oh no science is completely dead ah Can't be everywhere at once. Is that... Is that okay? Nah. Lack of item. All right, it was bound to happen. Let's 
going to be fun to just try to switch it on. Okay, I like this. This is super compact. <clears throat> now these are the processors. See which one has is reaching most to the side. This one is one beyond that line. This is one two beyond the line. So this is also going to be the return. Okay. All right. We still need inputs and outputs. Off-topic question. I'm currently starting a new factory base and wanted to go with a roundabout space train network. Are there any major downsides about roundabouts compared to normal junctions? Yes, they are distinctly worse. Uh, I never use roundabouts because well, previously they would also cause congest, they would also cause deadlocks because they go in and then they would reroute and then it would sort of cut off its own tail. I think that's been fixed, but they still like, even the best ones, you will have a roundabout, you will always have more traffic because there are more options. So there will be some of your roundabouts that will always be super busy and you're going to regret it if you want to build big. I never build roundabouts because they will just go in and around and over and while they go around then nothing else can go through so in out in in Uh, out, in, out, in, yes, in, in, and in, out. So everyone always asks about your arm, but never your left wrist. Do you have a keyboard gel pad for that? Nope. I don't even know what that is. That's connected. Okay. So we're now at the end, at the end of the line. And then this is where we built a tower. Just a single tower. Uh, that's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Times two. can be taken out now. Wow. I wonder if it works. Not a fan of that one. Undo.
What a build. What a build. I wonder if it works. Yes, you can stack that high. I think this has been an exceptionally fun design challenge and I think the result is pretty damn cool. I am not sure it's working but that's gonna be... Uh, well, I know that there are some things that are definitely not working here. That goes in. Uh, Then this one is oil, right? The oil goes out in the middle and the light oil goes around there. And no. Oh, right, right, right. Okay, so this is, no, not like that. This goes in and then it splits to all three locations. Yes, and the light oil comes out here. Moves in, becomes plastic. Plastic goes out and around. Then the graphite that has been sneaking around there goes into the next build. There, around and back. Together with the sulfuric acid that comes from up here. And... Uh, will I share the blueprint? Yes, that's the whole point. Uh, I'm gonna make a master class of it soon. I would just want to see it working. Also, not happy about this one, but we have 15 minutes left, so let's prioritize. This one has to have some kind of priority, right? Yeah. This is the graphene coming in. And up here we have the titanium that goes in there and in there. Together with the graphene to make the carbon nanotube which will then go out here and all the way down side the side together with the plastic then we'll have to bring in more stuff what should we set these at i think we'll set them at something like something really modest obviously you don't have this one by the time you're making it I don't know what these are going to be set to, depending on what you're going to be doing in your base there. The next question is, why are we not getting anything in here? Okay, <clears throat> here we build circuits, embedded, and into processors. Processors are coming out there. All the way over. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, silicon continues and splits out to become the silicon, fractal silicon. And then the processors continue down this path. So we have processors and then on the other side, the stuff we came from before. We should gonna take these out. I don't know, maybe I should put here. Just so that we can kind of see what's supposed to be where, that one. And then plastic. They go in here. The nanotubes come in on the inside there. Passing through this. Hmm. That doesn't seem right. Yeah, this is just a normal splitter. And then it goes through here as well. Yep. That's also not correct. Ah, oh, these splitters are not correctly set. This one is also not correctly set. Uh, that's going to be plastic on the outside belt, so... 
let's actually filter the stuff that we want to pass through. And this one is normal splitter. There, for plastic on the inside. Going in. <sighs> this run on infinite resources, nope, you can see here. We have, uh, it's broken and we don't know why. <gasps> I know, it's whoppers. It's whoppers. It's gotta be the whoppers, right? Yep, it's the whoppers. God damn it. We're dead on whoppers. Oh no. Oh no. The final stream is gonna be trying to recover from dead whoppers. Oh, my entire galaxy is dead. Oh no, how could this possibly go wrong? Well, where is the green signs? I'm pretty sure we built, uh, built, did we build some green signs here? There. What are you complaining about? Quantum chips. Local demand, okay. So that's up here. One of these should have had quantum chips coming in, but it kind of forgot to deliver it or what? That one. Nowhere in the galaxy do we have quantum chips provided that we can that we can get. <laughs> yeah, I do have that one to kickstart things, but I still, yeah, that's not what we're gonna do. I think. That, oh shoot! I can't even do this. I can't even fire this one up because I don't have any resources to uh, to fire up with, right? I can't request any of these, can I? Um, uh, hold on. Before I do anything stupid. It's gonna be fun to place. That is gonna be purple signs. There we go. Now it's at least saved. Now I can do stupid things like... Local supply, local supply. Local supply. It should be working locally, yes, because I have it. Right, this one. Should also have done that before. How is this one getting up oh, like that? Oop. That one is just out. Just have to hope that I have. No, 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 no. No! I didn't want to do it. Okay, never mind. Now just get on with it. Damn it. Okay. So titanium is coming in. These are coming in. Run, 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 run. Okay, let's go down here and spot it all the way from the beginning. First of all, we're getting this in. It comes out here, goes on these belts. All these eight are working. And they will be pushing hydrogen back. Looks like it's working. And the light oil is coming in. The light oil is mixed with the graphite, which is also coming in. So that means it senses this way. That's the plastic going on. And the graphite, together with the sulfuric acid, is making graphene. Graphene here. Are they all working? Uh, they don't have any yellow dots, so that's good. These all have yellow dots. Why? 
they don't have titanium. That's okay, because that's the... We know that. It doesn't have titanium. It's coming somewhere. But we don't know when. And that means this is not working yet until that. We can check all the other stuff here. This is not looking good. How is it not getting that inbound? Oh yeah, yeah, I see it, I see it. How's that on the other side? No, it's okay on the other side. No yellow dots. No yellow dots. Only one wishing for different robot colors. Robot colors? Yes, I think you are. This is working except not really at all. How is... Oh, right. It's one of these weird things that if you do uh, change these right next to it, it won't connect actually. So it has to go like this to connect. They get everything except the nanotubes because they're not in yet. And this one is filling up. And at least we're getting the processors in here. Too bad about the nanotubes though. Let's go back and see how's, the, how's that coming along. Oh, it's coming along nicely. And it's coming here. Right, there were a few kinks and quirks. But in the grand scheme of things, there they are. Hmm. I think that's again the issue with the too close here. There we go. Okay, it's, it's the yellow dots here are just hopefully waiting. I'm a bit worried though. How is this one not getting it? It comes in here. Oh, because it's that. No. So difficult to see. That's actually picking up from the spot. So it's because it never gets there. This one's consuming all of it. Huh. Let's see if we did the calculations wrong here or it just takes a while to set up. This is. If I want. If I have 16 of these, then I'm going to make two per second. Then I need four uh, nanotubes per second. This one, if I have four na four of these, then I make two per second, so that's, this is a four per second. Okay, so I think this is mainly just the fact that everything else is saturated, but that one is not. Though, it does kind of bother me that it look how... Oh, right, right. These four are working, but these four are working. Because this one fits 50-50. 50, 50. 50 goes in here, 50 goes in here. The 50 that goes in here is enough to fill these five, four. The 50 that goes in is enough to fill these four. It makes sense. So it's going to take a bit longer time because before these will get done. And that's only when, for example, this one here is saturated, which it will be soon. Then it'll be starting to see more flowing that way. There we go. More flowing that way. As more flows this way, Another one will start switching on. It's going to take a while for it to work. But nothing gets stuck on these belts. I am extremely pleased with this build. I'm not so pleased by the fact that we ran out of, of warpers, but um, whoops. But this is exactly how I imagined it. I think that it should be cut into two blueprints. Let's see how big is it. Nope. That's fine. If you look at the upgrades. Uh, blueprint, 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 blueprint. This one is without limits and it's that one. 3,000. It's less than 3,000. So even that's perfect. 
So, next time, aside from fixing our factory so we get warpers back online, then um, the next objective is doing the same thing just for green signs. So, baked beans, uh, the green needs 3000 plus, yeah, yeah. Hey, Ducky Potato, first time on the stream. You can use and literally bought Factorio Satisfactory and DSP because of you. Wow, tell that to the uh, developers so they can give me some kickback. <laughs> Now the VODs too for learning purposes, awesome. Now uh, it's a good thing that there are, there are VODs available because I am uh, wrapping up in two minutes. Actually I'm wrapping up now because I in two minutes I'm going to turn into a pumpkin. This is such a nice integrated factory. I don't think there's anything here that I would do significantly different. It is so nice and compact. This premise is just what if you could just stamp down one blueprint and that would take care of everything needed for purple signs? Yeah, well, I don't know. Maybe it's maybe this one was the penultimate stream, so maybe I'll end up having to stream on have to stream on Monday as well. It also depends on whether I'm I've been able to find something I'd want to play next week. Don't know. Otherwise, I mean, I'm, the reason why I was stopping Dyson's Share Program was because everything was working. But the fact that we still have the green signs to do an equivalent build, which is super fun to do, and we have a completely non-functional base, then it doesn't seem like we're almost at a happy ending, right? And they lived happily ever after. Yeah, but the dragon is still alive. Yeah, but ever after wasn't very long. They kind of got eaten right after the, I closed the book. Good night and have a nice sleep. Yep. <clears throat> Build a big bring of raw ore. No, I don't think there's any point to that. I wouldn't want to do that. I wouldn't want the ore things. Um, I don't think that's the right way to do it either. Yeah, but it's pretty obvious that quantum chips is going to be way worse. I mean, qu just, just quantum chips is probably almost as big as this thing. Hey, hey Ducky Potato, that's very nice of you. Oh, you got a sub from Natsar. That must be yesterday or the day before. Are all planets the same size? Yes. They are all the same size. And that is a good thing. Because otherwise blueprints would be broken. Or weird, at least. Thank you everyone for joining. And hey, Donkey Potato, you uh, managed to get yourself on the leaderboard. That was a... It's not exactly crowded leaderboard. Maybe tomorrow for Factorio there will be some people who want to make an impact on the leaderboard and get some things in. So anyway, that is going to be it for me tonight. Uh, thank you everyone for joining and uh, this fine evening. And uh, one more thing that I really want to thank you is that thank you for not a single one of you have mentioned Twitch drama. That is so nice of you. I was kind of worried that uh, I'd have to answer a million questions or getting annoyed by people coming in with their... Uh, their Twitch drama, and I don't need it, and uh, you don't want it, so that's perfect. So thank you for that, that we could focus on random chats and cool designs and broken factories. Tomorrow, Factorio, let's uh, see how that goes. Good night, everyone, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow or Friday. Good night, and stay effective. <laughs>